Tonight we want to attempt something that we've not done before. Not anywhere else in the world and not in Australia. For the first time we attempt it tonight. We attempt to define the Holy Land. What is the geographical limit of the Holy Land as located in the Quran and the Sunnah? Because we want to understand why is it that Mr. Bush wants to attack Iraq? Hmm? Why? Why is it that the state of Israel is so hungry to expand territorially? Why? He has taken Ibrahim alayhi salam on a journey from Ur, you are, which is in Babylon which is close to the mouth of the Euphrates River where the Euphrates River reaches the sea and he travels with his family to the Holy Land but notice the journey between the beginning of the journey over here in what is today Iraq and the end of the journey in what today is called Palestine between these two Fine areas city. is a vast <laughs> desert today you can get into your motor car and once your tank has gas you can drive over easily hmm? but if you were traveling with a family with you and you were using animals you would need to stop on the way so many times. You need places to sleep, you would need food to eat, you need water to drink. And so travelers would seldom, if ever, attempt to travel directly across the desert from Iraq to Palestine. What Ibrahim alayhi salam did and the Jews themselves give us this information is that he traveled northwest along the rivers where there was water and where there were people living and therefore food travel northwest above the desert until he came to the north of Syria south of Turkey and when he reached there, then he headed south, west, down into Palestine. In this way, he was able to skirt the desert. When he stopped, this was the Holy Land. And so we know that the Holy Land did not extend all the way to Iraq, to the river Euphrates, because he was already living there. And he had to leave there and travel a long journey and cross the desert from the north. The desert could not comprise the Holy Land. And so the Holy Land has to be on the western side of the desert which separates Iraq from Palestine. So we now have the geographical limits of the Holy Land on its eastern frontier. What are the geographical limi limits of the Holy Land on its western frontier? To the south is the sea. Musa alayhi salam is raised in a part of Egypt and tonight we're going to learn which part of Egypt and he takes Banu Israel across the sea the river Nile is to the back the Red Sea is to the front and he crosses the Red Sea this is the Red Sea and then he crosses into Sinai not the hospital in Manhattan 
No, no, the desert. And when he crosses into Sinai, then of course he goes up the mountain, Mount Sinai. The Torah is revealed and he comes down with the stone tablets. Hmm? And then there occurred the incident with the brother Harun Islam, etc. After that, while they are still in Sinai, now he says, Ya qawmid khulul ardal muqaddasata allati katab Allahu lakum. Oh my people, come on, let us enter the Holy Land. So they're not yet in the Holy Land. <laughs> let us enter the Holy Land which Allah gave to you. And so, the east, the western limits of the Holy Land has to be Sinai. Sinai is not a part of the Holy Land. In the Torah, there's a strange thing. It says that this book was written by Musa Islam. That's what it says. But at the end of Genesis, I think Genesis, it says that Musa Islam died and he was buried in Sinai and nobody knows where his grave is. Strange if he was writing the book. If he was writing the book, how did he write this? That I died and I was, bur <laughs> I was buried in Sinai and nobody knows where my grave is. <laughs> it looks, it looks now very clear <laughs> that there were others who were involved in writing other than a Musa al-Islam who is now dead. In, the, in Sahih Bukhari, we have the same thing repeated. That Musa al-Islam, when the time of death came, he asked, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for permission to enter the Holy Land but he was not given permission he could only see the Holy Land so he climbed up a mountain and from the top of that mountain he was able to see the Holy Land and then after that he died without being able to enter the Holy Land and then the Prophet Muhammad says I know where he's buried Yes, I know. The Jews don't know, but I know. I can see his grave now by the, se the, by the, the side of the red hill. I can see his grave. He's not seeing with these eyes, of course. He's seeing with these eyes internally. So Musa al-Islam is buried in Sinai without being able to enter into the Holy Land and so Sinai does not constitute a part of the Holy Land. So we've now defined the eastern borders and the western borders, limiting it. To the north, we don't have, maybe tomorrow somebody might be able to bring some evidence to me, which will give us a geographical limit to the north. But at least it couldn't be north of when Ibrahim alayhi salam turned southwards to come down to the Holy Land. It has to be somewhere between the northern point of his journey and his destination when he arrived in Palestine. Somewhere in between is the northern limit. Clearly the Sea of Galilee has to form a part of it because of the Hadith of Gog and Magog. This then would be the geographical boundaries of the Holy Land as given in the Quran. One more ayah remains which clearly identifies the heart of the Holy Land. So around this heart you have to look for the periphery which is the heart? Which is the heart? Which is the heart? Subhanallazi. Subhanallazi asra bi abdihi layla min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa alladhi barakna hawla wa jnubni barakna hawla. And so ila akhir al ayah. And 
also where the masjid was located in Jerusalem is the heart of the Holy Land. And so Jerusalem, the city, is the heart of the Holy Land. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes, instead of referring to the Holy Land, He refers to the city. The city being synonymous with the Holy Land. Where does He does that? Where does He do that? Today we are going to talk about Surah Al Anbiya. Here the Qariya is mentioned, and the Qariya, meaning the town or the city, is used synonymously with the Holy Land. There are other places in the Quran.